Learn English and social awareness through stories that talk. Chapter 1 The Mysterious Note In the bustling city of Greenville, a group of friends gathered at their favorite hangout spot, a cozy cafe named The Greenleaf. The friends, Alex, Lily, Max, and Emma, shared a deep concern for the environment and were known as the eco-warriors among their peers. As they sipped their drinks, they noticed a peculiar envelope slipped under their table. Curiosity peaked, Alex reached for the envelope and opened it carefully. Inside was a note that read, The fate of our planet lies in your hands. Meet me at the old bookstore tomorrow at noon. Together, we can make a difference. Excitement filled the air as the friends exchanged glances. They were thrilled by the mystery and the opportunity to make a real impact. With eager anticipation, they planned to meet at the old bookstore the next day. Chapter 2 The Mysterious Stranger The old bookstore stood tall, its wooden shelves filled with dusty books that whispered stories of the past. As the clock struck twelve, a stranger appeared, clad in a cloak of green leaves. Introducing himself as Professor Greenfield, he revealed his mission to save the planet from imminent danger. Professor Greenfield. Greetings, eco-warriors. I've been observing your dedication to the environment, and I believe you have the potential to bring about real change. But first, let me share with you the grave problem the world is facing. The eco-warriors leaned in, their eyes filled with anticipation. Professor Greenfield. Our planet is in crisis. Human activities have led to severe environmental degradation, including deforestation, pollution, and the overexploitation of natural resources. Climate change looms like a dark cloud, threatening ecosystems and the well-being of all living beings. Alex. It's disheartening to hear the extent of the damage we've caused. But what can we do, Professor? Professor Greenfield. That's where you come in. You possess the passion and determination to make a difference. By raising awareness, exposing corporations that prioritize profit over sustainability, and inspiring others to take action, we can initiate a movement for change. Lily. But it's such a monumental task. How can a few individuals like us have any impact? Professor Greenfield. Never underestimate the power of collective action. Throughout history, it's been small groups of committed individuals who have brought about significant transformations. Together, we can ignite a spark that will spread like wildfire, inspiring others to join the cause. Max. So what's the plan, Professor? Professor Greenfield. We'll start by infiltrating Green Tech Industries, a corporation that poses a significant threat to the environment. They have been engaging in destructive practices, putting profit above the well-being of our planet. We'll gather evidence to expose their crimes and rally public support for environmental justice. Emma. It won't be easy, but we're ready to take on the challenge. Let's do whatever it takes to protect our home. With newfound determination, the eco-warriors prepared themselves for the mission that lay ahead. They understood that the fate of the planet rested on their shoulders, and they were ready to step up and be the catalysts for change. Chapter 3 Infiltrating Green Tech Industries The eco-warriors embarked on a covert operation, infiltrating green tech industries under the guise of new employees. Alex posed as an intern in the research department, Lily as a receptionist, Max as a janitor, and Emma as a security guard. Each had a vital role to play in their mission to expose the truth. Max. So, I'm the janitor, huh? Well, at least I can clean up the mess they're making. Lily, smirking. Who would have thought that a receptionist could be an undercover agent? I'll keep my eyes and ears open. Max? Just make sure you don't accidentally throw away any important documents while you're at it. Emma grinning. And as a security guard, I'll ensure we have the access we need while keeping a lookout for any suspicious activities. And I'll be keeping a close eye on you, Max, so don't even think about slacking off. Alex. 
nodding. Remember, we need solid evidence to bring them down. Let's stay focused and work together. As they began their infiltration, little did they know the challenges and adventures that awaited them on their quest to save the planet. Chapter 4 Unveiling the Truth Days turned into weeks as the eco-warriors discreetly collected information within the walls of green tech industries. They navigated the corridors, blending in with the bustling employees, all the while keeping their true intentions hidden. One evening, as they gathered in a hidden corner of the building, they reviewed the evidence they had managed to gather. Alex, whispering, Look at these documents. It's shocking how Green Tech Industries has been exploiting natural resources without any regard for the consequences. Lily, furrowing her brows. And this report reveals their involvement in illegal waste disposal, polluting nearby rivers and harming the surrounding communities. Max, leaning in. We need to expose them, but we must ensure we have enough evidence to make it undeniable. Let's dig deeper and see what else we can find. Emma, cautiously. Agreed, but we must remain vigilant. If we're discovered, our mission could be compromised. The eco-warriors continued their mission, carefully documenting every piece of evidence they found. They faced challenges, avoiding suspicious eyes and evading security systems, but their determination propelled them forward. Chapter 5 A Twist of Fate Late one evening, as they met in their secret hideaway, a sudden noise startled them. The sound of footsteps approached, growing louder with each passing second. Panic filled their eyes as they scrambled to find a hiding spot. Just as they thought their cover was blown, a figure emerged from the shadows. Sarah, whispering, I overheard your conversation. I used to work for Green Tech Industries, but I couldn't stand their unethical practices any longer. I want to help you. Here's additional evidence to support your cause. Relief washed over the eco-warriors' faces as they realized Sarah could be an invaluable asset. Alex, gratefully. Thank you, Sarah. With your knowledge and insight, we can gather even more evidence against them. Max, winking. Looks like we've got an insider now. We're unstoppable. Lily, smiling. Welcome to the team. Together, we'll make sure Green Tech Industries is held accountable. Let's make sure to stay one step ahead of those corporate villains. Our mission is about to get even more interesting. With Sarah's insider knowledge, the eco-warriors uncovered hidden files and records that painted an even clearer picture of the corporation's destructive actions. Their evidence was mounting, and it was time to take the next step in their mission. Chapter 6 The Race Against Time with the evidence in their possession, the eco-warriors knew they had to act swiftly to make a difference. They realized that time was of the essence, and the fate of the planet hung in the balance. They gathered in Alex's apartment, surrounded by stacks of documents and maps, preparing their next move. The eco-warriors meticulously crafted their plan to expose green tech industries. They understood that their message needed to reach far and wide, capturing the attention of both the public and the media. Alex. All right, team. We have the evidence we need. Now it's time to devise a plan to expose green tech industries and their destructive practices. Lily. We should start by reaching out to influential journalists and environmental activists. We need to ensure that this story gets the attention it deserves. Max. And we can't forget the power of social media. Let's create a hashtag and spread the word like wildfire. Emma. Yes, but we must also be cautious. Green Tech Industries won't go down without a fight. We need to protect ourselves and the evidence. As they strategized late into the night, their determination grew stronger. They knew that their united efforts had the potential to change the course of history. With their plan in place, the eco-warriors took to the digital world. They launched a social media campaign, sharing the evidence they had gathered and calling for justice. People from all walks of life began to share their stories and join the movement. Their message went viral, attracting the attention of journalists, environmental activists, and concerned citizens. 
The eco-warriors found themselves at the center of a growing movement for environmental justice. Alex received an email from a prominent journalist eager to investigate the claims and expose green tech industries. The team couldn't contain their excitement. Lily. This is amazing, Alex. Our story is going to reach millions of people. Max. I can already imagine the headlines. Eco-warriors unmask corporate environmental crimes. Emma. Remember, we have to stay focused. We're fighting for justice and the well-being of our planet. Chapter 7. The World Takes Notice. The media received the eco-warriors' evidence, and the story broke like a tidal wave, capturing the attention of millions worldwide. People were outraged by green tech industries' disregard for the planet and demanded action. Protests erupted in major cities, with people marching through the streets, holding signs demanding accountability from green tech industries. The eco-warriors found themselves at the forefront of the movement, speaking passionately at rallies, their voices echoing the collective call for change. News outlets scrambled to cover the unfolding story, shining a spotlight on the evidence against green tech industries. The corporation's CEO, Mr. Hartman, attempted to downplay their actions, but the weight of truth was undeniable. Interviewer. Mr. Hartman, the evidence against your company is substantial. How do you respond to these allegations? Mr. Hartman. Our practices have always adhered to legal regulations. We prioritize sustainability and have made significant strides in reducing our carbon footprint. Emma, watching the interview, outraged. He's twisting the truth. We have to confront him and expose his lies. Max. Absolutely. Let's prepare ourselves for a showdown with Mr. Hartman. It's time for him to face the consequences of his actions. Chapter 8. The Showdown. The eco-warriors received an invitation to a televised debate where they would face the CEO of Green Tech Industries, Mr. Hartman. It was a crucial opportunity to confront him publicly and hold him accountable for his company's actions. As they prepared backstage, their nerves mixed with determination. Alex, taking a deep breath. Remember, we have the truth on our side. Let's stay calm and focused during the debate and let the truth guide our words. Lily. And don't let their attempts to deflect or deny the evidence discourage us. We've come too far to back down now. Max. You're right, Lily. We're the voice of countless people who are counting on us to make a difference. Emma. Let's show the world what the power of unity and determination can achieve. We've got this. Stepping onto the stage, the eco-warriors faced Mr. Hartman, ready to challenge him and demand justice for the planet. Chapter 9. A New Beginning The debate was intense, with the eco-warriors eloquently presenting their evidence and Mr. Hartman attempting to defend his company's actions. But the weight of truth was on their side, and the viewers could see through the corporate smokescreen. As the debate concluded, the eco-warriors received a standing ovation from the audience. Their message had resonated with millions, sparking a renewed commitment to protect the environment. Alex, overwhelmed with emotion. We did it! We made a difference! Lily. And this is just the beginning. We've inspired a global movement, and together we can ensure a sustainable future. Max, grinning. Who would have thought that a group of friends could have such a tremendous impact. We truly are the eco-warriors. Emma, tearfully. I'm so proud of what we've accomplished together. We've shown the world that small actions can lead to big change. Their story, the eco-warriors, saving the planet one step at a time, captured the attention of publishers around the globe. Offers poured in to write a book, and the eco-warriors agreed eager to share their journey with a wider audience. Months later, their book hit the shelves, becoming an instant bestseller. The tale of the eco-warriors spread far and wide, inspiring countless individuals to take action in their own communities. The friends embarked on a book tour, visiting schools, universities, and environmental conferences, spreading their message of hope and empowerment. During one of their book signings, a young student approached with wide eyes. Student. You're the eco-warriors, right? I read your story, and it changed my perspective. 
Now I'm starting an environmental club at my school. Lily grinning. <sighs> That's amazing. Remember, every small step matters. You're making a difference too. As the years passed, the eco-warriors continued their mission, collaborating with environmental organizations, participating in international conferences, and advocating for policy changes. They became prominent figures in the fight against climate change and were invited to speak at prestigious events around the world. Through their efforts, legislation was passed to protect endangered habitats, renewable energy initiatives gained traction, and corporations faced increased scrutiny for their environmental practices. The legacy of the eco-warriors lived on, inspiring generations to come. Chapter 10. A Sustainable Future The eco-warriors looked out at a world that had evolved, People had become more conscious of their impact on the environment, adopting sustainable practices in their everyday lives. Clean energy thrived, wildlife habitats were restored, and the air became cleaner. One sunny afternoon, the eco-warriors gathered at a park they had helped to save. Surrounded by lush greenery and vibrant wildlife, they reflected on their journey. Alex, contentedly, Look at what we've accomplished together. It's a testament to the power of unity and unwavering dedication. Max, grinning. Remember when we were just a group of friends sitting at that cafe, wondering how we could make a difference? Emma, with a twinkle in her eye. And now we've become symbols of hope for millions. Our story proves that change is possible. Lily, smiling. Our journey may have started with a mysterious note, but it was our friendship and shared purpose that propelled us forward. As they basked in the warm sunlight, they knew that their work wasn't over. The fight for a sustainable future continued, and they vowed to remain steadfast in their commitment. Together, the eco-warriors set their sights on new goals, embracing innovation, and pushing boundaries to ensure a thriving planet for generations to come.